Hello friends, now this is completed part of our accounting project. Uh, in the previous tutorial we have completed our uh, income form. Now to complete the deposit, but actually we have to complete our new person form. The basics, new person and person opening account. Uh, if there is a customer and uh, if there is a distributor. So the total information of the customer distributor should be saved. And the basic form we haven't created, that is uh, person maybe it is a customer or distributor so you can see in the purchase form we are storing the name but the name will come from the this form so first we have to create this form so go ahead to the coding here it is person form so first of all change it to the metro UI form Remove this metro framework dot forms dot metro form. We are inheriting the metro forms properties. It is an inheritance uh, concept. And I think we are using using system dot data dot OLDB for connectivity and using system dot configuration ok right click and view designer ok now go ahead to the formatting that is properties yes first of all make border style as a fixed single Yes, click on the top of to true and uh, use space between person form save it and uh, okay him to the right now just go ahead to the toolbar and okay before just drag and dropping we'll copy and paste the uh, controls from the different forms that may be sale or purchase uh, we are creating this form for saving the personal information of the customer or distributor so just go to the sale form ok mm, ok we want this one Ok, we will just make a new form. We will use Metro UI Framework Controls. Ok, so... I think we have lost the control of the Metro Framework. Ok. So just add tab. Metro. Just right click. Choose items. Okay, so just click on the browse. We contain in our bin folder. So we go to the our project. That is, we need this one. So just click OK. You can see in my tutorial there is a special video for how to install metro your framework in the designing and in the formatting ok just terminate ok you can see it is now uh, visible so just click on the ok now here it is now just drag and drop now we want uh, 
label just copy and paste for username mobile number name city gender address okay so the first one would be name mobile okay so, so let's give the quotation mail or just your email address and protect uh, gender if you like and detail Okay, now we want text box, metro text box, here it is, just drag and drop. Now remove this, change the name of the metro text box to TX, TX name. I am using camel case method. First letter should be small and the second letter should be in the upper case. Then mobile. Okay, three, four. Okay, in general we don't require text box, we will require radio button or combo box. Second we have given name, third email. Yes. Address detail, it means any information related to person. Okay, I'm using here combo box for gender. Uh, okay, we don't require gender because in the company it is just standards. Just expand it, uh, and also I want to make this to multi-line. It is text. Uh, yes, also you can use what watermark detail. It looks some attractive. Okay, I'll complete. Okay, so yes, now completed. Now we want yes, here it is. Multi line to two, so that the detail could be give some more digit. Now we want button for add, update, and delete. Uh, here is the button, metro button. First of all, close button. Close. And over here, 
bt close copy and paste uh, to save okay bt save Okay. Uh, now we want to save coding. So close coding to this dot close. Yes, and the, for the short code for leaving the code, just press F7. It will show you the design mode or coding mode. And now we want a save button code. So just go to the sale form copy one of the code save and print now we want this one code for inserting just copy and go to the save button and paste over here if okay, you want to save save box message box button and western just hide it and in the cell form just go to the table in the table go to the person open it and change the name to the design view here just write on the primary key as a person id okay and in the second form as you know we have already used customer name customer name so over here just write down as a name sorry we can use because it is a data type so just click ok and nickname as a p name or person name and the second one the second one was just go to the form here it is mobile email address ok I will complete it ok so the form is completed so just save it ok save it and close it now go to the coding on the save button we want the first column was person name second was email third one is mobile fourth one was address and fifth one was detail yes first one person txt TX name then email TX email and TX mobile not text TX address Okay, and detail TX detail dot text. Okay, now there is some points here remaining. First of all, we will call the connection. Copy it and save over. Okay. Now over here, name should be on the single and double quotation. Text. Okay, and over here also. And also, and also there is another point is that whenever you're writing text name dot text, you should have to write dot to upper. If you want to make character to upper, upper, and also the trim. 
to trim actually what is doing it will remove the space from beginning and the end from beginning and the end check this right on to upper to trim just copy this and paste over here Just a small message box. Message box not show. Okay, so we will continue in the next tutorial. Just saving uh, remaining. Okay.